hello fashion diy lovers welcome to another interesting tutorial today's tutorial i'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful cross body bag with an adjustable strap and the strap is also detachable you can see it's also detachable so this is one very simple and beautiful bag you can use for your everyday use so you can see what i'm packing inside my bag and this bag is so simple to make trust me i don't really need much to make this bag so you can see how beautiful this is looking so without further ado let's get started and please if you're here to subscribe to this channel please do well by joining this beautiful family by subscribing hit the subscribe button turn on the notification bell in this channel i make and share beauty tutorials on dressmaking bag making and fashion accessories so without further ado let's get started but before then please hit the subscribe button it's totally free thank you so these are the materials i'm going to be needing to make this cross body bag i have my ankara fabric just a little piece of it so just half yard of ankara fabric can give you this bag you can make this bag with half yard of ankara fabric and i have my chest warding popularly known as breast pad i have my zipper we'll be needing two d rings one strap adjuster two strap hook and my synthetic bag strap i will also be needing lining to line the inside of my bag so the first thing you're going to do is to cut out two pieces from your ankara fabric two equal pieces like this measuring 12 inches by 10 inches so i have two equal fabrics here that i've already gone ahead to cut out from my ankara fabric so the, the width of this is 12 inches and the length is 10 inches so go ahead and cut out two equal pieces like this measuring 12 by 10 inches so after cutting out these two pieces i'll just place them on my wadding and i'll take this to my ironing table and give this a very good press so note i'm placing the wrong side of my fabric on the wadding so after ironing my fabric to the wadding you can see how smooth it's looking so the next thing i'm going to do i'll cut just a little of this I'm using this to attach my D-ring to my bag. So I'll just cut about 3 inches of this. I'll be cutting 2 of this. So I'll just use my lighter to burn the edges to prevent it from loosening cutting two of this i'll be wrapping it with this fabric so for the fabric i have about three by three inches so i'm just going to use this fabric to wrap this just the way you can see me doing so after wrapping i'm going to take this to my sewing machine and sew so I'll be using this little piece to attach the D-ring to the bag. So before attaching the D-ring to the bag, I'll go ahead and cut out the lining for my bag. After cutting out my lining piece, I'll keep this aside. Now I'll come back to this. So you can see the way I'm facing these two so it's time to attach my d-ring to the bag go ahead and place these two like this facing each other so it's time to fix the d-ring so on this part that is the width of this where i have 12 inches i'm going to go in by one inch so from this i'll be fixing this d-ring from this one inch then the second one on this part will be facing this other side that it will be adjacent this on the other side of my bag 
that was why i placed it like this facing each other so you don't get confused so go ahead and mark one inch after the one inch just place this and we'll be sewing this by half an inch and on the other fabric just i just sent it we'll be doing the same thing so i'll take this to my sewing machine and sew by half an inch so i've gone ahead to attach the d-ring to my back pattern so if you notice on this part i came out i took this in a bit by half an inch so this is going to prevent this from pulling out easily so the next thing i'm going to do i'll be attaching my zipper so i'm just going to open my zipper up like this i'll be sewing it to my pattern so after fixing the zipper like this so the next thing i'm going to pick one lining piece i'm going to place it on my zipper and sew so after fixing my lining i'm going to bend it to the other side i'll bend it over to the other side and i'm going to make a top stitch on this So as you can see, I've neatly attached my lining and I'll be repeating the same thing on the other side. So after fixing the lining, so I'm just going to take this up. I'll be separating the lining from the main material so i'm just going to separate like this so i'm making sure my zipper are meeting so after making sure my zipper are meeting i'll go ahead and sew this by half an inch so make sure you double stitch on this part where you have your zipper I'll be repeating the same thing on the other side of this bag. So after closing the two sides, I'll go ahead and cut off the excess zip I have there. So after sewing the two sides, the next thing is to close the bottom of my bag. So after closing the bottom of my bag, I'll go ahead and turn this out so you can choose to leave the bottom part of your bag this way if you want it looking so simple but i like this bag to have a little base so i'm going to turn this in again i'll be creating the base for this bag so but you can choose to leave it simple just the way it is so to create the base for this bag I'm going to get my marker I want the base to be really really small so I'll be marking one by one inch on both sides now go ahead and cut this out So before doing anything, I'll go ahead and 
we tack this part where I cut this out from so that it doesn't open up. The next thing I'm going to do, I'll take my fingers into this like this. I'm going to open this up like this and I'll do the same thing on this part. And I'll be sewing this by half an inch. So after doing this, I'll be turning this out. After doing this, you can see my bag now has a base and has taken a different shape. So the next thing, I'm going to tuck in this lining by half an inch. I'm just going to tuck this in a little by half an inch and I'll be closing it up. So after closing up my lining, you can see my bag looking very neat inside out. I'll just go ahead and push this in so you can see how neat the inside is looking. So the next thing to do is to create the handle for this bag. Next thing I'm going to do, I'll be creating the strap for my bag. So I'll be using this to create the strap for my bag. And what I have here is about 45 inches long. And I also have my Ankara fabric that I've already cut out long to as long as this strap. So I'll be using this to wrap up my bag strap before attaching it to my bag. So watch what I'm doing. I'll go ahead and sew one side first. sewing like this this other remaining part I'm going to fold and I'm going to sew up my strap so the next thing I'm going to get my strap adjuster and I'll be passing in my strap like this so after passing it like this on one side the next thing I'm going to get my strap hook so after fixing my strap hook I'll be passing this in, I'll be taking this strap into this part, making sure it comes out from this part. So to achieve that, I'm going to pull this down a bit so that I can have enough space to pass this in. After passing it in from this part, I'm going to bring it out from this part. So after bringing it out from the other side, I'm going to bend this over to this part where I have this double strap and I'll be sewing this to just one of this. So after doing this, you can see I can freely adjust my strap. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'll be fixing the second strap hook on this other side. I'm just going to pass this in and sew. So after creating the back strap, just go ahead and fix it. 
to the bag okay guys as you can see my bag is ready for use and i'm packing in some stuff in it already isn't this looking beautiful this is an id bag for your everyday use isn't this looking beautiful please let me know what you think about this tutorial in the comment section and please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to this channel for beautiful fashion diys and please do not forget to turn on the notification bell so you get notified each time i post any of my fashion diys thanks for watching and see you in my next video bye